We, we opened in 1979 and we've grown. We're a full service staffing company. We do light industrial, office support, and professional placement. We have 33 inside staff and last year we issued about 40, a little over 4,000 W-2s and we, on an average, we work about 1,000 people a week. Okay, our first division is our light industrial division and we do all, um, warehouse, shipping and receiving, a lot of long-term staffing where we actually go into a facility and have an on-site supervisor and that our on-site supervisor manages our a large amount of employees at those particular companies. We also have an office support division where we do what we call temp to perm. We help people find jobs and then we do a lot of long-term staffing um, that's evolved from a receptionist here and there to now it's long-term staffing. We also have a corporate recruiter that places high-end management, sales, marketing, any type of management type company that is what she's specializing in. and. Then we also, we specialize too in call centers. We've done a lot of call centers that's been very interesting to staff for a call center. And then of course some, lar some large projects in industrial. In my opinion, um, the economy is very good. We are staying extremely busy. I think the biggest challenge right now in the future is not having enough skilled labor or even workers um, because you have so many baby boomers that are retiring and the Gen Xers and the Gen Yers are not, the numbers there are not equivalent to the people that are retiring every day. So I think in the future we're, we're going to have a probably a much harder challenge of finding good skilled workers. Well, uh, the Affordable Care Act has been a challenge for any staffing company because we have people that come and go and you have to qualify them. So we can't discriminate against any employee. We have to offer that insurance to every employee that we qualify them to go to work or that actually work for us. And then you have the challenge of you have some employers that will partner with us and pay that and then you have some that don't then you have employers that only want to pay for the employees that are on the Affordable Care Act it's an accounting nightmare and it was not written for staffing companies for restaurants hospitals and in fact we had to hire a full-time person to handle that we had to create a position to hire a full-time person that had some insurance background to handle all of our the paperwork <laughs>